सब गैस कैसे हो एलार हो प्रेमेश डूइंग ग्रेट इसके अमाउंट टाइम इज आरोन नाइन ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग ऐसे में जो अमाउंट टाइम ऑफ कार से सीयर मेक वो क्रेजी है रैंडम ने वॉकिंग लाइक दिस एंड लुक व्हाट आई फाउंड दैट्स अ क्रेजी रोल्स रॉयस कलन एंड देयर लाइक रैंडमली थ्रोन हियर एंड देयर एंड आई जस्ट केम टू द सुपरमार्केट बिकॉज़ फीलिंग हंगरी आई डिड नॉट बुक एनी ब्रेकफास्ट इन द होटल व्हाट आई एम डूइंग एवरीडे इज गोइंग एंड गेटिंग माय ओन ब्रेकफास्ट बिकॉज़ ऑल वी ईट इज हार्डली अ सैंडविच सॉरी इट इज नॉट वेरी क्रॉस श्रीमान You're an international country. You have to cross at the zebra crossing only. That's a tuna sandwich. You have egg mayonnaise. You have dynamite chicken. I think I'll go with tuna because we love fish. One quick tip about traveling, especially in countries like Dubai or Hong Kong or metro cities, generally where you want to travel a lot, where you want to walk a lot, make sure you get proper running shoes. They should be extremely comfortable. Don't get fancy shoes which look good but they're not comfortable. Unfortunately, truth of life is whatever looks fancy and amazing, somehow they're not comfortable in life. Whatever looks bad and okay, okay, they're all very functional and very comfortable. For example, sugar is very delicious but they're not good for your health. Oats are extremely bad even to look at, but they're extremely next level healthy for your heart, for your health. That's how the world is, and you have to agree to that. Anyways, I'm checking my health app every day, seven to eight kilometers on average. Mom and dad are getting a little bit tired. Obviously, they can't do like seven or eight kilometers every day walking and then taking steps. So today is kind of an off day. We're not traveling much, but yes, uh, we're planning to do two places at least, which will not require too much of walking. Maybe we'll go to Gold Souk. It's like a gold market, uh, which you have to see. Apart from that, if we still have time in the evening, we will have time. But like I told you, I don't want to stress my parents too much. Also, I don't want to stress my sister and Anaya too much today. They have a crazy 14-hour flight from. from dubai to canada which means i'll not have sleep the entire night so let's keep it a little bit low today so let me get ready and i'll see you down okay we are in the cab we are heading to gold souk right now it seems actually you have to go to the gold souk around 3 o'clock because 4 o'clock it's open like properly that's what i saw in google But when I asked in the reception, they said you can go even now. So I'm not really sure of the timings. 1:15 now. In case it's closed, we'll look around. And also, yes, we are negative. We got the report, which means tomorrow we can head out to the Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi. So I got the test done in the hotel itself in the reception, which is kind of a little bit expensive. A mom and dad went outside somewhere and they got it done for half the price. But for me, it was an urgency, so I had to do it. Tomorrow, mom and dad are leaving. Today finally, she she's leaving after almost thirty days plus. So when are you coming back again? <laughs> Because of me, all of them came for a vacation. They actually came to drop me, not yes. on a vacation. <laughs> they came to drop me and they are vacationing, and I'm leaving now. Okay, finally we reached Gold Souk. Actually, as Google suggested, half of the market is closed. <laughs> See all this closed, only one open. <laughs> Randomly there are open a few. closed 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 so basically for the ones who don't know souk bole to market <laughs> am i correct i'm just thinking even how na get pino ओनाटेडी <laughs> There is a shop which has a huge yeah. ring, ring a wedding ring. It is like the size of me. I want to see that. The main attraction of this gold soup. Gift and a gift, na ke gift. Gold, jutto pad pote ne, no anto ne ne pad pote un jutto. Rak na kord ko adda na ko nishti na di ba. Ni ko adda na ma. Yes. Actually, ni ka takko vartu na ka na. Kado. Tumara potan dahi ne pudu. Na ko. Thank you, Ganesha. Na dipre kasa sana ko na manage ko. Yeah, I can manage. We got a nice title. Shopping for my sister in the gold <laughs> bazaar. Got her a lot of gold. How much for this? Thank you. You asked me to take you to the palm, right? Gurjala Rab. Take it. You can stand here. <laughs> okay, Akka. We'll make a deal. I'll get you the Aravan key. Get me shoes. Just shoes. I'm asking just for shoes. Come on. You can't say no. No, hey, please come on. <laughs> yeah, no, what shoes? I'm asking. This is not Nike, Jordans, not such basic shoes. Let me show you, gold shoes. 
I am asking for that fancy gold shoes. That is a freaking 24 karat gold shoes. You see that 24 karat shoes. <laughs> and also cricket ball. <laughs> of course, you can't wear this. And in case you are coming to the gold market, definitely don't get your kids, especially infants, because if they see this pacifier and ask for gold pacifier, that is gonna embarrass you because you cannot afford it. Silver <laughs> Silver pacifier, gold pacifier. Welcome to Dubai. Allah Habibi. I can afford any Apple product except this. That's an Apple iPhone. I think it's iPhone 7 and it's made of solid gold. I don't know if it's functional. And half of the people come to the gold soak just to look at this amazing thing. Marketing done right. Everyone comes to see this only. Now, bottle would be Look at this ring. <laughs> that is the world's biggest ring officially. Guinness Book. It's got Guinness Book record. And also, you have clothes. You want some clothes? Gold clothes. <laughs> you can actually see the Guinness Book certification. Guinness World Records. 58.686 kgs of 21 karat gold. Akka, I wanted to buy you this. I wanted to buy you this. Arre, shit, it says not for sale. Shit. <laughs> Doesn't matter where we go, we have to find an Indian restaurant at least one day in the entire trip. We found one. It's called Praveen Wala. Praveen, uh, Praveen Bhai. Nastha Wala. I think he is Praveen Bhai. <laughs> Okay, that is the thali we got. I think this is South Indian thali because there's roti, there's no naan. Right. Gujarati seed roti, I don't know. Kadi is there. This is sambar, I think. This is samdal, I think. This is some chana. No, japta vanni puro. After almost four, five days, she's able to see this food. <laughs> now she feels home. Now pranam came alive. And you have some nice, what is this? Halwa. Okay, done with the shopping here at the Gold Souk. We are going back to the hotel now. Main thing is for Anaya. We don't want her to get sick again. And it's really sunny outside. It is hot. So it's better we go back home now. And yes, can you see my hair is falling more? It will fall. That's all gone already. One, two, three, they geekified dad for the last 50 years. Now they're geekifying me left, right and center. You can check my wallet, it's become, it was like this much, it became this much. <laughs> is leaving but she's going to dad's room from there we'll be going to the jumera beach and tata for this room tata <laughs> she's going to canada and i don't know when you're gonna come back again i don't know when you're gonna come back again to hyderabad another two years i think before that we'll only go <laughs> come will come this year we have a lot of international trips planned usme canada bhi ek hai we'll definitely do that Just came to the beach. I don't know what beach is this called. This is more for Anaya. She wanted to go to the beach. Last beach visit for you in Dubai. And as soon as we got done, look what we found. Tidding! Rari, Rari, Rari. Yeah, we see Anaya very excited. Like truly next level excited. <laughs> Are you excited? Well, definitely one thing I've observed is Dubai has amazing sunsets. Like look at that orange. I'm not even doing any color correction. Check that out. There you can see the Burj Al Arab, which was a flop yesterday. We couldn't go there. And also first time we found a Tesla. First time I'm seeing a Tesla in real. Huh? Okay, we came to the Dubai frame. Actually, I saw this in pictures. It didn't look so huge. And also, I saw it from the road once. It actually didn't look this huge. But in real, it's actually 
I don't know, maybe 20, 25 floors, maybe 30 floors. But for this also, we need to buy tickets. Come to Dubai, you need to buy everything. Nothing is free. You see there, there's a lift. So one thing you have to keep in mind if you're coming with a kid, you can't take your stroller. You need to leave it here. And the entry, uh, each ticket for the Dubai frame is around 1000 rupees for an adult. And I think 450 or 500 rupees for the kid. Kid as in 3 to 12 years old. Time is almost over and there are two hours left for sister to leave to the airport. Just two hours left but we're trying to squeeze in as much as possible. <laughs> we want to squeeze in one more one more to-do list in Dubai. Luckily we could make it. Right now we have exactly one and a half hour to spend here. It seems it looks much more beautiful when you come in the mornings. Like sunrise or sunset, it looks much more beautiful. But then at night also it is looking nice like it's all lit up and all that. And when you take the elevator and go to the, I don't know which floor. From there the view it seems is going to be good. By the way Burj Khalifa and all that. I'm gonna do it alone maybe tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, not tomorrow, maybe day after tomorrow I'll do it. So basically I think this is to exhibit their art and their history. I think it's all about that, the Dubai frame. So if you want drone shots, here you go. <laughs> you have to jump from here. So this is a scary glass. Right now it is still transparent. So if you step on it, yeah, it becomes transparent like this. Like this. <laughs> you can actually see it through the camera. But if you remove this, you can see. And this is the view you get. Whoa. Okay, sister is leaving now in the airport. See you after a couple of years. <laughs> See you after a couple of months. Hopefully, if I get the Canada visa. Bye bye.